Okay guys and girls, it might not look like it, but um, this particular video is essentially about altered states of consciousness and training yourself in them. Uh, because you can't do anything even remotely weird unless you yourself are in fact weird. So this is the technology which I use to achieve the same. Now, you may have seen these before, you may have not seen this before. This is a technology called a mind machine. So go onto Google and search out for mind machines. As you can see, it's uh, it looks like any other small electronic device, like your MP3 player or whatever. Okay, and it's got play and pause buttons and an, and an up and down control as well. A little microphone in there on the side of it. You can see it's got a few ports for headphones, uh, power, and there's also another similar socket, which has got um, a little logo for um, a, a pair of glasses. It's got a volume control there for audio and a brightness control there as well. Now let me just explain briefly as to what this is supposed to be doing. The, um, the technology it uses is called brain wave entrainment, whereby uh, repetitive noises such as beeps, or of course, you know, like, I mean, you may have heard of these like trance drumming tapes or CDs, okay? When you play it and you hear the sound of the drums going on and on and on and on and on. The fact of the matter is with each and every single beat or pulse, that creates a brainwave spike, which can, you know, resonate throughout your whole brain eventually. And you can get uh, control of your brainwaves through hearing noises which are of that regular, of a certain regular pattern. Uh, this electronic device will control the frequency of the beeps. Anything from one cycle per second through to 30 cycle per second, which means it's going through delta, through to theta, then alpha, and of course beta. Beta being the most rapid, being up to 30 cycles per second. Anything over 30 cycles per second, this particular device does not do. So if you want to investigate gamma frequencies, which are well above 30 cycles per second, you'll have to use um, a different form of technology. Uh, this is the second mine machine I've ever owned. Um, it has about 30 different programs on it, which each of which is supposed to have a certain effect. Now, the other benefit of this technology is strobe lights. It comes with a set of glasses, and as you can see, there's little LEDs on the inside. These, on this particular model, it's white LEDs. On some of them, they may be red or maybe a blend between red and green. And uh, different companies will make different combinations. It's uh, quite, quite useful. Now, I think there's actually a bit of a fallacy to suggest, as some people do, that... Uh, sorry, forgive my thumb going in front of the lens there. It's a bit of a fallacy to suggest that um, natural sciences or natural scientists are somehow the energy of the New Age or occultists or spiritualists. Because if you research enough about brainwave activity, and I would strongly recommend you do that, you can get a good feeling for what different brainwave states can actually be used for. And with a technology like this, you can start to give yourself training. Now, very briefly in the past, um, see if you can get some light on my face just a moment. Uh, okay, in the past I've mentioned um, brainwave entrainment techn uh, no. I mentioned neuroplasticity, which is when the whole brain structure changes when you do a meditative exercise for a long enough period of time, which is believed to be up to three months. Now, let's just take that idea and extrapolate that back to the technology I've just shown you, okay? Uh, and just, just jump to a few conclusions. I know I, I don't normally recommend jumping to a few conclusions, but in this particular case, maybe we can. Uh, with the theta brainwave frequency of between 3 and 7 or 8 cycle per second, that's similar to the frequencies used in um, trance drumming. The 4.5 cycle per second frequency is often used with um, shamanic activities because that's supposed to be the predominant brainwave frequency of people who are doing shamanic exercises. So you can train yourself to get to that brainwave frequency and learn what it feels like so that later on you can then practice that particular mood, those particular, that particular sensation of bodily relaxation through your own concentration meditation exercises purely through knowing that particular fact. Of course, delta is used for sleep or very deep relaxation and that's one to three. 
cycle per second, roughly speaking. Uh, and you can use the, um, the beta frequency being 12 to 30 to wake yourself up. And don't use any of this technology if you've ever had like a, a seizure complaint or epilepsy or anything along those lines because basically it'll be really 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 bad for you in like a very big way so just don't. If you feel that this is going to affect like your heart rate then just don't use it. If you get any bad symptoms from using it, chill on it for a while okay. Um, I would recommend maybe once a day. I mean, it takes it takes time for your brain to get used to using this particular type of machine. You know, it's not. Um, it doesn't happen overnight. You don't just press a button and hey, presto, you are um, Harry Potter. You know, you got to get your brain used to the idea of actually using this particular technology. That itself can take, you know, maybe uh, may maybe a few weeks. At times, I mean, when I started out, it took probably three, four, uh, three, four goes on the machine before I wouldn't feel comfortable with having flashing lights over my eyes and having the beeping noises going into my ears. But um, it was invaluable. I had a pretty cool experience one time. I went out to play pool with a few people, and I've been using the meditation program an awful lot on a mind machine. And um, when I lay, you know, lay down to, uh, well, bent over the table to do my shot. Um, all of the noise of the pu of the public house went down and down and down, as if someone was just like turning it, turning down a volume knob. It was um, amazing because all of my concentration was literally on the shot, and I my brain was incapable of focusing on anything else apart from the shot. So even my sensory ability changed as a direct result of using a mind machine. So that's um, something else to bear in mind when you invest in technology like this. Um, it can be of uh, varying prices. This was like. Um, <coughs> probably the least expensive good mine machine I could get at the time but the first one I got was uh, was only a four program machine this one's a lot better there's also the technology of using um, mind altering compact discs which you can buy which have uh, something called an audio strobe component which um, you know plays into one of these sockets and can actually control how the flashing occurs on the glasses so that's something else to bear in mind if you're thinking of training yourself more quickly than having to spend like forever in peculiar meditative positions and also if you want to get better at doing prayer type exercises then um, I recommend the mind machine to, to do that because it can give you the ability to get the altered state of consciousness you might need uh, so that you can then practice it more and basically do more with it um, just a few ideas okay speak to you soon great and glorious Nick Dutch signing out for now